Hey, good morning guys and uh, today it is Sunday so we're still at water's edge and we're all set ready to leave and we're gonna go to Cornerbrook to do a nice hike another four hour hike so we're pressed for time catch you on the road we go Down, actually, it's the Cape Blow Me Down Trail, and it should be a four hour hike. So, we came back. We originally did the Coppermine Falls Trail, and that one was about a 10 minute hike, but it's beautiful because you get to see a nice waterfall. And this one is 3.8 kilometers each way, so seven kilometers total, and uh gonna be a big hike so probably another moderate hike but hopefully it's not as painful as it was yesterday at the green gardens hike so let's get started these things right here they actually mark the trail just got to find them so far within the first five minutes we managed to get lost once <laughs> but it was easy to find a trail after and this is like super steep and what I mean steep is climbing all the way up it's got to be a good 35 40 degree climb so yeah heart is pumping and the legs are shaking so let's see if we reach the top Yeah, moving layer number two. The trail is pretty easy. There's a path, so it's sort of easy to follow. But there's a lot of forks. So now we're a little bit confused because we don't know if we're on the right way. Just keep on playing, um, climbing, and hopefully that will reach the top. But if you're planning on doing this trail, at the bottom you actually have a map and uh, do what we didn't do take a picture because there's no reception over here so you could sort of have a map to see if you're going in the right way So the hike is better than the one from yesterday? Oh hell yeah. The trail, the quality of the trail is so much better. There's no sheep poop. I give it a 4.5. Well let's see when we're done. No, the quality of the trail. Oh. What about hikes that you love so much? Uh, it's very meditative. It just clears your mind of any nonsense. It's a nice family activity. It's free. Free! You get a great workout, you sleep like a baby, and it builds muscle. Also, you get to see nature. You have endorphins popping through your brain because you're walking in nature. I mean, what's not to love?
Put on another layer. Oh, it's cold. Three, ready? Looks like we're almost there. We're so close to the end. The view is already beautiful. And uh, we just saw a couple of hikers going down. So far on the hike, uh, we saw a couple of hikers averaging from 30s to, I don't know, early 60s. You just need to put one foot in front of the other and keep going. Trail keeps going that way. We're not done. Probably more painful than yesterday, but way more rewarding. Yesterday was just a frustrating hike. This one was a really good quality hike. We did it. We finally made it. That's it. That's all she wrote. We finally reached the top and it was pretty grueling, but it was so worth it. This view is unparalleled. We give it a 4.5 for quality of trail and definitely a 5 for view out of a score of 5. It's absolutely spectacular up here. If you have a chance, it's hard, you're going to cry, but do it, you'll cry tears of joy. I inadvertently found a geocache. So let's take a look at what gifts are in store for us and find something to leave behind for the geocache. Back up. Right here. Now you can quit smoking. Pretty cool. So this is an awesome little pack someone left behind. I guess they didn't need it anymore. Uh, someone left, I'm not sure what this is exactly. Oh, it's for sunglasses. It goes in the car, mounts onto your visor. Oh, this is a guest book. So you sign your name. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and it started. This is a replacement cache for the original Cape Cache by Badge 77. This was started June 25th, 17. All right, so let's get to almost out of pages. August 21st. Oh, the people behind us never found it. Oh, <laughs> someone left a headband. There's a pack of cards. Old maid card game. There's some magnets and official geocache game piece do not remove. All right, so this is pretty cool. I think this is an awesome 
piece to take with us. Maybe that will go around Fee's neck and she can carry it for us. Now we have to find something to leave behind. This is what I'm leaving for the geocache. Now I know it may seem a little bit lame what I'm leaving, but I wasn't prepared for this. So bear with me. I'm leaving some safety pins. I'm leaving some band-aids because you never know when you're going to need band-aids on a hike. I'm leaving a new booklet for people to sign in to the guest book because the one that's there is almost finished and this has lots of pages left. And uh, I think that's about it. Okay guys, so in keeping with my theme, safety pins, <laughs> band-aids, I'm going to add some alcohol swabs and an elastic band. So that's my contribution to the geocache and I'm gonna tuck it back away and hide it with a rock. And my brilliant husband just reminded me that I should leave some Adventures of Dory and Mena cards that has all our info, our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube info on them. So if you found one of these cards and you found this video, then I'm Mena. That's Dory. And thank you for geocaching with us. Now the best part, we make our way down. Hi! <laughs> I have a feeling a lot, a lot of it's gonna go like that. Three hours. No, hang on. Figure. Okay, so we left at 12:30. We probably got up there. It was 3:15. So that's two and a half, two hours, 45 minutes to go up. And is that right? I'm not sure. And 45 minutes to come down. So we left. We started at 12:30, and we got down here at. 4.30. The only thing I know is my legs are shaking. Yep. So. Start here. 2,100 feet. Climb all the way up. To Cape Lomi Town. I feel like we should censor when we say cape, beep, down. Anyway, that's two hikes, back to back. Four hours each hike. I'm not even sure how many kilometers we did all together, but it, it feels like a lot. After we've done this crazy hike, we're not done yet. We're going back to Coppermine Trail. Yeah. A small hike, very easy that leads you to a waterfall. Really beautiful one, like I was saying, very easy hike. Never seen anybody here, we've done it twice so far, seven minutes each way, and you get greeted with this amazing view.